Hey guys, in today's video we're going to show you how you can set up an admin notification system directly inside of UChat. And it is pretty easy to do and you have a whole bunch of notification types that you can set up for your business or that of your clients. So the way it works is once inside of a flow you can build a action block and inside that action block you will have access to what is called a notification section. So if we go over towards the notification section, let's first grab an action block. From the action block, let's head over towards the notifications tab. And here you will see a whole bunch of notifications that you can send. So depending on the use case, you can send different kinds of notifications. We have an email notification, we have a Slack notification, an SMS notification, you can even make a phone call. You have a WhatsApp notification, a Telegram notification, and a live agent notification. So let's, for example, go with a simple email notification, right? So we can just go with an email notification. We can press edit action and we can select our email profile. Let's say I'm just going to use my business email and then we can basically send the email to any particular admin that we want to. So if you want to notify a business owner, if you want to notify a live chat agent, you can easily do so by just inserting the email address directly. Then we can select the email template. So if it's a simple message or we want to go with a specific email template that we set up. If you want to learn more about email templates, then you can click the link above, the card above, and you will see a good guide on creating email templates and how to use them. But for now, let's just go with a simple message. The subject could be, so we could say something like username needs live chat support. And then as a description, we can say something like, so we could say something like username just set the following. And then we're going to use a system variable called last text input, which basically displays the last typed text input from that user. Then we can go with something like please follow up with the user by pressing the following link and this is another system variable called live chat URL and this is the link directly towards this particular user. So if we save this and we're going to publish the flow, we can also preview it. So if we preview this, we should receive an email notification. And as you can see, we just received the email. The topic is Mark Vandermate needs live chat support. And then Mark Vandermate just said the following. Show me, please follow up with the user by pressing the following link. So if I press this link, I will go towards the live chat inbox inside of UChat in this case. And then we should be able to converse with this particular user. So let's see if that is also happening. Let's wait. And there we have it. We have a live chat directly with this particular user. You can set up many of these kinds of email notifications and let them trigger by specific triggers like the tag applied, a user asks a question and stuff like this. The way to do this is by going towards the left hand menu, going towards automation, and then you will have a tab called triggers. You can add a new trigger by pressing the blue button and from here you will see all available triggers. So we can trigger a new user, subscribe to bot, unsubscribe from bot and a whole bunch more. And as you can see a lot of triggers have been added and this allows you to set up a really structured admin notification system directly inside of your chatbot. So if you like this video please consider dropping a like because it will help us reach more people and show the power of what UChat and chatbot marketing automation can do. If you want to get notified as soon as a new video goes live press the subscribe button and the bell notification to the right of it. For now have a great day take care and talk soon.